Meek Mill is back in the news, man. That man has never been the same after that. Drake back to back this, man. Now he out here doing Pete Diddy's free calls, man. He doing free calls with Diddy in Miami. Yo, I would never look at that video of him when Diddy had him in the pool talking about, you deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work the same, man. All the Michael Rubin clips, man. Today we're going to be going with some of his greatest hits. Let's look at this video first, man, because this right here, I think, tops the kick. The way that he spoke about his celly when he did that bit that time, man. He was out there in Harlem doing willies. If you're dealing with somebody for a long period of time, it don't matter if I left or you left, you still going to, you can have a celly. Mm -hmm. Nah, dude, you got a celly for three oh, months. That nigga cried when celly left. Pack it up, go ahead to New Jail. You're going to feel like you just lost a chick. <laughs> what? You're gonna feel like you just lost a what? Let me give him a second chance, man. Let's keep listening. Maybe that's not what he meant. You know how it is? It's just, you're gonna be How hurt many times about you it? felt like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't never lose your celly and feel like you lost no, no, a chick? No, no, no. I lost some cellies that was some good, you know, they went home. Motherfuckers, I didn't see, during my, my whole time, I didn't see hundreds of cellies go home. Yeah. And you'd be like, damn, how many times I wanna you cried? The fuck, I ain't never cried, man. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yo, yo, what Waller really meant to say is, yo, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, homie. I put in 20 solid years, man, back to back like Drizzy. And I don't ever in my life cry because a Sally, man, left me. You know, I never felt like I lost a chick because my Sally may moved on, my man. Like, you know what I do to my chick? You know how heartbroken men get when they lose a chick, bro? You cried over your Sally, man? Like, dudes is out here smashing their chicks, Meek Mill, man. Like, what was you doing up there in that cell? You wasn't even there that long, my man. You was not there that long to feel like you lost anybody, man, and compare that feeling to losing a woman. Listen, there is no man on earth. I could lose my father to death. Forget about doing a bit. Forget about just being free. Forget about moving on to another cell. I could lose that man to death, man, and I ain't feeling like I lost a chick, bro. I could lose my entire family, man, and I ain't feeling like I lost a chick. Me, what are you talking about? I wish Wallow would have called him out on that one, man. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. Now, you know what you really out here looking like, man? You looking like Diddy's chick, my man, because look at this picture of you and Pete Diddy, man. Yo, I've been a man my whole life. I've been alive for uh, 433. I ain't never leaning to a man like that, smiling like that, taking a picture, man, with a tiny person in between us, man. Oh, Oh, Diddy, you're devious. And then he had you like this in the pool, dog? You was like that in the pool? While he was up there calling you daddy, you put in that work, you deserve it, and you allowing men to talk to you like that? What is wrong with you, man? But he ain't even Diddy, man. Look at this. Look what little old Michael Rubin was saying he was gonna do to you, man. I'm drunk, you're gonna get another drunken hug tonight. I don't care what anyone says. You're getting a drunken hug. You too. You too. Drunken hugs are coming tonight. These are the so-called street dudes, bro. <laughs> These are the Stone Cold Killers, Lil Baby and Meek Mill on a billionaire's private jet, man, talking about y'all gonna get a drunken hug, man. Yo, I have never heard a man talk to any other man like that in my life, man. Y'all got Michael Rubin, a little old thing, probably like 5'5", five, five, man, 135 pounds wet, calling you Meek Mill, uh, supposed to be killer from the streets of Philadelphia, talking about I'm gonna give you a drunken hug, and all you got to say to him is pause, and Lil Baby out there giggling, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what is wrong with these rappers, man? Oh man, and a lot of people out there really believe that these dudes are hard. That's what happens when you compromise your morals and principles to hang around billionaires, right? Because he got them on his private jet, so they think it's shit. It's a free flight. I'll take a few drunken hugs for a free flight, man. This will cost me thirty thousand if I had to take a private plane, you know. But with him, it's for the low, low. It's practically free. What's a drunken hug? Ain't nobody gonna be there to see it. Ain't no pictures gonna be leaked, man. Me and little baby will. We can keep a secret, bro. Imagine the whole time this was Lil Baby's idea. He's like, yo, bro, listen, I'm introduced to this guy, bro. His name is Michael Rubin. He's a billionaire, bro. Listen, he got this private jet. He's always taking us everywhere, man. We could save 30000 on this flight, homie. And Mick Mills is like, word? And he's like, yeah, you want me to come on board? Yeah, yeah, all right, man. I'll pull up. Oh, oh. I just got to tell you one thing. What? He's doing it for the low price of a drunken hug. Drunken hug? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean a drunken hug? Don't worry about it, bro. I've been doing this forever, man. It's all right, bro. You're going to be okay. Don't worry about it, man. I'm putting a word for you. <laughs> I'll make sure he only give you three drunken hugs. And look at this video. Look at this video. This video went viral a while back of uh, Michael Rubin. Been making me meal pop like a bunny and he's wearing white while he's doing it yeah like i'm telling you like i don't understand how a grown man can allow himself to do something like this man it helps me because you got your ass beat in tennis you got your ass beat keep going count out loud this is the wrong time, nigga. count out loud 30. Can, huh keep going keep going keep going don't cheat on your buddy hops. They suck. Your buddy hops suck. 
You got 250 more. This is definitely like a power play, you know? For him to be like, oh, I got this stone cold killers from the streets. These rappers, man, jumping around like a little bunnies, you know what I'm saying? Give them little hugs, you know, on my private plane. It gotta be some sort of power play, man, because there's no way in hell that people do this. There's not, there wasn't a black person inside there. Meek Mill, what is wrong with you, bro? Ain't nobody had you bunny humping back in the hood, bro. You wouldn't have allowed anybody to do that to you. But this guy's a billionaire, man, and you're an opportunist. And you're like, hey, man, I'll take a few drunken hugs and I'll hop like a bunny for the connections to make some money. Couldn't be me. Benzino is back on the news, man. We're gonna have to start calling this dude Corn Sino, man, because these guys are cornball, man. First, we was always there, man, on Drink Champs, crying a river, man, like Justin Timberlake talking about. First, he started cursing out at Eminem. Then, towards the end, he was crying, oh, I got one no problems with that, man. Please, man. Peace, peace. <laughs> Girl, I'm man crying because of you. Yo, it should literally be illegal for 50 Cent and Eminem to respond to anybody dissing them because these dudes are changing careers. I mean, after Eminem did the diss track to MGK, this guy took such an L, man, that he completely switched genres, man. He left hip hop. He, ain't, he, mean, he almost changed genders, man, the way he's dressing nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But the funniest part about this video with Benzino is that he unintentionally admitted to having a weak pipe game listen to what he said man after talking about some chick he smashed back in the day man this is crazy i was looking at a video that you made to joe budden right and you made a comment about melissa for you and her dated i mean i smashed none right home none, none to write home to to mother about as, as they say old school shit. but she was a video chick in the um in the made men video we did with the lots i flew in from canada Wasn't not too much. Wasn't not too much to brag about. Only reason I brought her up is because while he's sitting there trying to clown me, she's sitting there trying to be Miss. You ain't saying nothing. How come you didn't say nothing? Like, nah, me and Zeno's cool. Me and Z's cool. Nah, uh -uh, all right. Since we're in the time of blasting, we gonna blast your ass too. Right, right. Yeah, I ain't know that, man. But she made a comment, you know, about her being dry in the video. What she mean by that? Ah, as a Canada dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some dudes will expose themselves, man, just to spite another man, and they won't even realize it in the moment. Nah, man, you know, you got nothing bad. We hooked up, you know what I'm saying? She was a video chick. I'm sure she hooked up with a lot of artists. But when you say dry, do you mean like the sex was dry, or do you mean like the vagina? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Oh, I'm man. so parched. <laughs> Oh, man, who's going to tell him? <laughs> Let's keep listening. Damn. Damn, yeah. Damn. Can you get that fix? If you, that's a, nah, that's not a, yikes, I don't man. know, man. <laughs> he said, can you get a fix? He was like, yeah, bro, if you put in good work, you can get a fix, man. It's your job, bro, to get her hot, man. <laughs> He's over here laughing like she's just trying on her own by herself, dude. <laughs> I like you. I like I like that. I like that wet wet. Mine's got that wet wet. Mine's my beautiful black queen got that wet wet. Yeah, I think every female, I, you know, I had. Yo, these dudes are cornballs, man. Had it not been for money and fame, yo, these dudes will pull absolutely no women at all. Yeah, every female I had a situation with, they was where I, I haven't. Every you've never you've never had nothing that was a little. Blue parched. <laughs> he still don't get it. He still don't get it, man, that these women are only sleeping with him <laughs> for the clout, for the money, for the fame. Yo, he's like, are you serious? A hundred percent of the time? It sounds it used to happen to me all the time. No shit, man, because them women is probably laying there bro, with their legs up and like, oh my God, ew, I can't believe I'm sleeping with him. Think about the Birkin. Think about the Birkin. Think about the Birkin back, man. Think about the Birkin. Yo, did you pop a rhino today? Girl, I popped two. He's like, no. I'm going to have to ask him for two Birkin bags. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that guy low-key blew him up, though. Nah, I never had a dry one, man. You know, hopefully, you know, I never run into that, you know, situation, man. I think, so. I think, I think dry is fucking too much. I think too much, too much fucking. <laughs> he never made a wet. He never made no girl he slept with wet. Yo, his pipe game weak, man. Oh, man, those poor women. It should be illegal, man. He should catch a case for that, man. It, imagine those poor women laying there like, I'm just thinking about that Birkin, bro. That flight to the Bahamas. Like, it's going to be worth it. The pictures are going to make it worth it. But if you go into a draw situation, do you got to use, like, lube or whatever? Because, I mean, that can hurt, right? I mean, you, 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 yeah, you'd want to. Hell yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? But if, you, if, you, if your condom's already lubed up, then, you know, it should be all right. 
did you have to loop her up or you, the condom I, didn't I, work for I, you? I, I, you know what? I don't even remember. I just, I, I just remember it wasn't, it was, it was, I, it wasn't, you know, because I, I didn't continue it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't continue it. Shit that you continue is what you like. Yeah, that's, I hope she got that situation fixed, man. Hey, she needs to, maybe, maybe Joey will fix it for her. <laughs> Yo, that is so embarrassing, yo. I would have told that dude. He don't got friends. He don't got any friends, man. His boy should have been from the back like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. You don't even know what you're saying, bro. He think he's spiting Joe Budden and he's just embarrassing himself here, showing to the world that he's not good in the bedroom. Her co-host, <laughs> the co-host. Shout out to Flip. Shout out to my man, Queens Flip. Flip, you have my back up there. Shout out to Flip. Don't matter how much money you make, doesn't matter how much fame you have. If you was a combo without the money and fame, you can continue to be a bigger combo when you get it. That's crazy. That was like Irv Gotti. He was up there in Drink Shop, Shanti. And now everybody was just looking at him like, what are you doing, bro? Like, you still bought her, bro? Like, you could tell if the chick did deal with him, she only dealt with him because of the position that he held at the time, man. He over here thinking that, you know, he's uh, making Joe Budden look bad, talking about, oh, I don't know Joe Budden dealing with the girl, what the situation is over there. But he's making it seem like, man, that was just something for the best. Something I hit real quick. You know, she was dry, so I don't really care. So he's thinking he do with them that much. He's just embarrassing himself right there, letting the world know that he's not good at sex. And the guy's looking at that. That ain't never happened me bro shit no shit the women that you probably slept with wanted to sleep with you bro that must be torture you look at that guy bro he got no neck you know what i'm saying a big ass jaw he looked like a, like he looked like one of those dogs right that you crossbreed but they were never meant to crossbreed that's exactly what he looks like man and those women again they should all get together as a collective man and do like a class action lawsuit and be like he messed up my coochie for life it has never been the same ever since i let him hit <laughs> <laughs> talk less, do more is an embodiment of the spirit that the Broski carries because around here we don't talk about it, we we'll be about it. So if you want to help support and grow the Broski army, the Broski channel, the Broski movement, go out there and get yourself a little water bottle, man. If you're out there hitting them gyms, man, get yourself a little coffee mug to remind yourself, man, stop talking so much, man, and start doing, you know what I'm saying? So if you have some goals you're trying to attack, man, and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's going to empower you, go cop that right now, man. The link is in the description box, man. Y'all see it below, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, share and I see you next time. Peace!